Welcome to this week's podcast, focusing on community-supported agriculture and the farms that work through this socio-economic model for food production. I'm your host, Monty Dozier. We'd like to thank you for joining us today and also thank our podcast sponsors, the Department of Soil and Crop Science and the Agricultural Program at Texas A&M University, a place where people are excited about agriculture, protecting the environment, and the people we serve. Now to this week's story. Farming has become removed from the average person's life in the United States. Although 42% of the world's population farms, less than 2% of the U.S. population is directly involved in agricultural production. As a result, a large population of children and adults have no idea where their food comes from other than a local grocery store. There seems to be no connection between the land and the people we serve. Community Supported Agriculture, or CSAs, is a new social economic model for food production, sales, and distribution. Small commercial farmers and gardeners provide customers with weekly deliveries. In turn, consumers or shareholders of the farm pledge in advance to pay for the fresh bounty they receive from their CSA farm. Customers sometimes pay for an entire year in advance just to be guaranteed they will receive farm fresh products for their family. One of the most exciting aspects of CSAs is that they are educating people about food and how it's grown. People involved in CSAs can bring their children right to a CSA farm, ask farmers questions directly, see the production of their products, and learn where their food comes from. They can even take time to pick some of the produce themselves. CSAs provide a direct link to the consumer from the farm, thus removing the disconnect of the consumer and the agricultural environment. The CSA concept originated in the 1960s in Switzerland and Japan. Today, there are more than 400 CSAs in the United States. Most are located near urban areas in New England, the Great Lake region, and the Mid-Atlantic states. However, there are a large number of CSAs developing in other states, including Texas. CSA farmers are focused on land stewardship while maintaining small, equitable, profitable farms. Robin Van Inn, a leading CSA advocate, stated, The main goal of these community-supported projects is to develop participating farms to their highest ecological potential and to develop a network that will encourage and allow other farms to become involved. At their core, CSAs are focused on building a local and equitable system that provides a profit margin for their producers. By buying locally, this also helps people cut down on global warming. By eliminating the need for large delivery trucks and airplanes, carbon dioxide emissions released into the atmosphere may be reduced. CSA farmers such as Brad and Jenny Stufflebeam are fulfilling their dream of owning and operating their own 22-acre farm. Their farm is called Home Sweet Farms and is located near Brenham, Texas. They began by growing produce and selling it directly at the Austin Farmers Market. Eventually, however, they were able to establish members to support their own CSA. They now serve West Houston, delivering weekly to drop sites in Brenham, Katy, and Cypress. Brad and Jenny also arrange deliveries to their drop sites from other farms that produce and sell complementary products such as pastured poultry and pork and grass-fed beef. Customers who want to share of the almost 100 different varieties of heirloom vegetables and herbs that the stuffle beams grow have to put their name on a one-year waiting list to become involved. Brad, who has testified before the Texas House of Representatives and the Texas Senate, also said in an interview with Guardian Unlimited, We devalued food and we have devalued farmers. Now the skills are being lost. The average farmer in America is 65 years of age. Developing good relationships with people who grow your food is the ultimate form of accountability. His goal is to introduce farming skills to generations of Americans, and his enthusiasm for his life's work is contagious. Buying from CSA farms might not be for everyone, and consumers are varied as the products themselves available to them. But for people who want to connect with the local grower, know exactly where their food is coming from, and educate their children, and also enjoy agritainment up close and personally, CSAs may just be the ticket. I'd like to thank you for joining us today, and have a great week.